This judoka is one of the fastest progressing athletes of recent years. In a fairly short period of time, he was able to become a real leader of his weight category. Just recently he was called young and promising, and today he is already number one in the world judo ranking in the category up to 81 kilograms. World champion, European champion, masters winner, the best judoka of 2022. His name is Taro Grigalashvili. He is only 23 years old and he has already achieved a lot. Today we will talk about this Georgian monster. In 2018, a very young Tato Grigalashvili was in pursuit of his first medal of World Series tournaments. We were transported to Antalya, where the Grand Prix tournament was held. Young Georgian Tato Grigalashvili stood out brightly among other favorites. It should be noted at once that then in the preliminary rounds our hero managed to defeat Malai Slide, who that year was in one of the best forms in his career and managed to win the World Championship. In the semi-finals Tato lost to Vedit Elbeirek, the host of the tournament, and eventually won the bronze medal. Thus the bronze medal from the tournament in Antalya became the first medal from the World Series tournaments. This is a small beginning of the Georgian's great journey on the world stage. A year later, Tato Grigalashvili flew to fight at the Grand Prix Budapest 2019 tournament, at one time quite spectacular and atmospheric tournament, which received an upgrade and became the Grand Slam. It is worth noting right away that on his way Tato was able to defeat very strong judokas. First it was Christian Parlati, then Henry Agutids, and in the quarterfinals Tato was able to defeat strong Ivana from Bulgaria, and in the semifinals the Georgian was stronger than the host Attila Umvari. And here is the final, the final in which the young Georgian fights against Brazilian Rafael Macedo. Krigalashvili defeats his opponent with Tuwazari, and it means that the first medal from Grand Prix tournaments in his career is already earned. A very important goal for the rising star of the category. We're moving into 2020. For now, the last Grand Slam tournament is Dusseldorf, which has dropped from the calendar due to lack of funding. At this tournament in the first meeting, Grigalashvili had to fight against the experienced Japanese Takanori Nagas. So to say, to try his hand against a real top of the category, I'll be honest with you, it was after this meeting in 2020 that I noticed Grigalashvili and started following him. As a result, the Georgian was able to defeat the world champion from Japan in the second round of this tournament, a very serious bid. Then Toto managed to defeat strong and uncomfortable opponents, Vladimir Zoloev and Frenchman Alpha Almagello. And here is the final. The final was another challenge for our young Grigalashvili. His opponent was the current Olympic champion Kassin Kalmerzaev. But as the meeting with Takanori Nagas showed, Tata was obviously stronger than his opponent. Therefore, our hero also very confidently defeats Komar Zave. He has already won the first gold from Grand Slam tournaments in his career. Continental Championship is also a very important tournament for any athlete. Even Olympic champions find it important to win gold on their continent. We're moving on to Prague. European Championships 2020. Grigalashvili is starting to look very confident in his actions. He shows very active and attacking judo, trying to overwhelm every opponent with activity. By the way, he adheres to this tactic to this day, but we will talk about it a little later. Then in the quarterfinals he managed to defeat another promising Georgian Luka Mejeredzi in a very difficult and interesting meeting. And then in the semifinals Matthias Kass. The confrontation between Kass and Grigalashvili is a real classic in the world of judo. In the final Grigalashvili again defeated Ivan Avival from Bulgaria and became the European champion 2020 at the age of 20. Just a couple of months later in January 2021 the Masters tournament was held in Qatar. At that time a lot of judokas gathered in Doha because precious points for qualification to the Olympic Games were at stake. I would even call this tournament a mini world championship. At this event one can notice a dominant style of fighting from Toto Grigalashvili. Even the score advantage in the meeting does not stop our hero from trying to throw his opponent and finish the bout with a victory. Quite confidently our hero reached the final, where Frank DeWitt from the Netherlands was waiting for him. 
he effortlessly defeated his opponent and managed to win the first medal in his career from the highly rated Masters tournaments. It was gold. Here we are at the 2021 World Championship, which was held in Budapest. Personally, I have mixed feelings about this tournament. You will find out for yourself why. Tato is in top form, and with his head held high, he simply crushes all opponents on his way. Maximum activity from the young Georgian and no mercy. And in the semi-final, our hero defeated an old acquaintance Frank Dewitt in less than 30 seconds. Such a performance, just cosmos. Young Tato Grigalashvili in the final against Matthias Kass. Kass has already lost a world final in his career, and world championship gold is not a closed question for him. In the end, we can say that Tato Grigalashvili makes a mistake and Matthias Kass earns the score and wins this fight. Perhaps the Georgian did not have enough cold judgment and gradual actions in this meeting not to lose the gold medal. But the result is what it is, silver. And here it is the main start in the career of every athlete, the Olympic Games, which were held in Tokyo. I think Toto has done his homework and should not make the mistakes of the previous tournament. Moreover, not much time has passed. Grigalashvili very confidently goes to the quarterfinals. There he was waiting for Malai's side, who was playing for Mongolia at that moment. And in this meeting Tato loses. There is no hope for gold. He had to gather his will in a fist, be consoled and take bronze. In the consolation match Tato wins against Sherofid and Boltebov. And in the match for bronze we were again confronted between Tato Grigalashvili and Matthias Kass. Tato again shows initiative and activity. He goes in for a shot from his knees and Matthias Kass stops him. Tato Grigalashvili leaves Tokyo without a medal. We move on to April 2022. European Championships held in Sofia. Now for sure Grigalashvili has done some work on himself and removed excessive emotion and spirit. At least in the process of the fight. I saw him as the favorite of this event. Our hero passes all his opponents very confidently. As usual we see an attacking and dominating style of fighting from Toto Grigalashvili. In the semi-finals, the Georgian demonstrated a very powerful over-the-hip throw on Ippon. And it is one of the best throws of his career. In the final of the European Championships in Sofia, Matthias Kass was waiting for him again. But this time Toto takes revenge from Matthias Kass for those two disappointing defeats by the Belgian. Obviously, this gold will not overshadow the defeat in the final of the World Championship, as well as at the Olympic Games, but still this victory was very important for our hero. And here it is the 2022 World Championships in Tashkent, a tournament where I saw in Toto already a grown man with a cold mind. Yes, he pressed his opponents again with activity and flew forward, but it wasn't the same as even a year ago. In the first bout, Toto Grigalashvili fought with very uncomfortable opponent Alpha Almergello, whom he still defeated by upon. Also in the quarterfinals, the Georgian was able to defeat the reigning Olympic champion Takanori Nagas. He simply crushed with his activity and left no chance to the Japanese, though he won by Shido. In the semi-finals, Toto defeated Malai side, thus taking revenge for the defeat in Tokyo. And then there's the final, the final against Belgium's Matthias Kass. The stakes are very high and the atmosphere is as tense as possible, everyone knows that. In the end, in the golden score, Grigalashvili executes a throw over the hip on a Wazari and beats Matthias Kass. He finally does it. A very important and long-awaited victory. It would seem that a year ago Toto Grigalashvili had all the qualities to win the Olympic Games and World Championships. But this is just another proof that you need to work on yourself. Toto Grigalashvili takes the World Championship gold and becomes the World Champion. Then this meeting will become the best bout of 2022, and Toto himself will win the award of the best judoka of 2022. It was the Georgian monster Toto Grigalashvili, a judoka who has been destroying Japanese and Olympic champions since the youngest years of his career.